2017 Williams get lit. Um, it's been yes, an adventure. Yesterday we didn't talk to you. We were not in the mood to talk to anybody. Sometimes to each other either. No, we got mad at each other while we were hiking. Um, she got mad at me. So then we have to start the day and tell them how our day started Go out for it. in Cowspell. Go for it. The alarm was set for 5 a.m. to drive to Glacier. And we got up, we got ready, we got ready to walk out the door, and Jared said, Do you know what time it is? No? What time is it? It's three. Want to go back to bed? Nope. Nope, we were already dressed. We're up. So we drove to Glacier. We got to Glacier about 4 30, 4 45 in the morning. Um, and there were actually two people that were on their way out of the campsite we were planning on camping in. So we snagged a pretty great campsite right by uh, Prey Lake. And at that point it was maybe 6. No, it was 5.30. Yeah, it was definitely so 5.30. I laid down in the back seat, he laid down in the front seat, and we took naps. Until 7 a.m. on the dot. And we both got up. Then we went out on our hike. And I, it was a long hike. I liked it. I would recommend it if you are in the condition to do it. I'm not. <clears throat> I was not in the condition to do that hike. Um, we went to Dawson's Pass, which was really nice. We stopped at No Name Lake. That was beautiful. Where we saw? A moose. A moose was swimming across the lake and we watched it get out the other side. So cool. We were the only people there. Um, we finally made it to the first pass, Dawson's Pass, at which point I told Jared we needed to turn around and go back. Tell him what I was doing. Stopping every 20 feet or 60 seconds, whichever was sooner. And Taking tell, a break. Tell him how long I did a mile in. Uh, it took about an hour and 15 minutes to go one mile. An hour and 15 minutes to go the one point, was it 1.9 miles? No, it was the one. It was one mile up to Dawson's Pass. So we had lunch at Dawson's Pass. The elevation is 7,800 feet, and you could see nothing. Yep, it, we were smoked in. There was there. You couldn't see anything. Yeah. This was supposed to be the most spectacular views that you could see in the whole park. Um, but from I don't know any differently. So, um, from there, Jared insisted we go on. He did not want yeah, to turn around. I don't like turning around. And we go around this corner and you see this trail that's like carved in these like mountain edges that are 7,000 feet tall. And I was, Jared was like, oh, that's where we're going? And I was like, oh, you shouldn't have told me that. I think that scared I wanted, her a little bit. I wanted to turn around so bad. Why did you want to turn around? Because it was scary high. It was scary high for Jared. And Jared yeah, likes heights. Was, yeah. But we did it. Um, that was a very, very hot, long leg of the hike. We didn't even see another person on it. No. Sometimes it felt like we were in hell on that part. Or hell? another Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was hot. The whole it was trail, dry. The whole trail was hell for me. It was smoky. Um we finally finished that leg of the trail. Jared stopped. I made him take like a twenty minute break and close his eyes and put his feet up and tried to feed him. Um we continued on I started this whole trail on um a dose of Dayquil because I'm still fighting a cold, but that's no excuse. I'm just old and fat and out of shape. We continued on to Pokemon Pass or Pac-Man Pass or... Pitikman. Pitikman. No. Pitikman. No. Pit Pitikman. Pass. And on our way there, we saw a bunch of goats. Sheep. Yes. I don't Mountain. know. Big, big Mountain horn things. sheep. Maybe deer. We don't know what they were. There was a herd of about 10 of them. They weren't fluffy, but they had big horns. So I'm saying big horn sheep. Okay. They didn't care about us. We passed through. Um, and then we continued on where the scenery completely changed and became mountainous and forestry. And it was, I enjoyed it. It was yeah. long. Oh, we came to a little spring. Oh, yeah. We might have stopped and um, done a little refreshing freshen up in the uh, creek there it was spectacular yes it was very cold and very very well worth 
taking it. It made my day. Yeah. Made it all worth it. And after that, we only had like three more miles to go to get back to camp. That was the worst three miles of my entire life. So we started this hike around 8 a.m. and we finished at pretty much 8, 8 p.m. Yeah, we walked back into camp about 12 hours. 22 later. miles. Yep. 12 hours. Yep. Sunset, sunrise. I'm really glad that we did it. I would never tell somebody to do that. I would I, tell somebody to do that. I would never tell somebody to do that. Um, so this morning we got up and we drove to our next destination in Glacier, which was kind of towards the middle of the park called St. Mary. And well, we woke up and our, our both of our throats were sore from sore. From our smoke. voices were hoarse, um, just really dry, like you almost couldn't breathe. So we got to the middle of the park and it was 10 times worse than it was in two medicine. I said, let's go. Plus, you couldn't even camp with tents cause, yeah, because they, of the fires. It was hard sighted camping. They only. didn't want you to catch on fire. So. Yep. so that's not good. Once we saw that, I was like, I don't even really want to hike where we can't. Can, like, so we started camp. driving, didn't have a plan yet. Um, here we are. Where are we? We are about 15, 20 minutes outside of Yellowstone. Um, I didn't want to go into the park. I was too afraid we wouldn't find a spot. But there's so many people moving from Glacier, mm -hmm. seven miles out here um, to get away from the smoke. and it. In the seven hour drive, it wasn't until the last hour that the sky finally cleared and we saw clouds for the first time and a yep. blue sky. So we're happy. Yes. We've got an awesome lake. We'll probably stay here two nights. Um, we're still developing our plan for the next couple of days. Yeah, we changed our flight and our rental we car did. drop off, which was a big deal. From here back to Spokane was a nine hour drive. So that That's would only leave us one more day. And by changing our flights, we can get two more days to play. Yep. So we get two more play days and one more travel day. Yep. We're going to make some dinner here. Oh, you got breakfast sitting out. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to eat breakfast. No. But. Dehydrated meals. We're going to make some breakfast. Because we didn't, we didn't expect to make a fire in Glacier while we were there, so we don't have anything to and cut we, wood with. We're enjoying all of our neighbor's fires. Yeah. That's good enough. Anything else? No. You want to show them what the lake looks like? Yeah, we'll give them, give them a quick, okay, quick tour. Um, hold on, let's start here. This is our two-man tent. I've never camped in a two-man tent. It's beautiful. Uh, this is like a one-person tent. Two people in this thing is ridiculous. I'm going to stick with our four-person tent for the two of us. Um, there's a beautiful lake. Mountains in the background. The sun just set. Um, there's a couple docks around. We have a little beach. We got our hammock set up. Hammock. There's our hammock that nobody's in right now. Standard issue forest service picnic table. Yep. Which are always nice because it's concrete. Cool. Maybe tomorrow we'll make a fire. Bye, guys.